Locating Me viewers, welcome back to our channel. Uh, we just got this in the mail today. This uh, is coming from Teespring. If you're a Katie and Me fan, please visit our uh, Katie and Me store and check out our merch there. We have shirts, cases, phone cases, masks. This is a phone case. Get that in focus here. This will fit an uh, iPhone. We also have uh, phone cases for Samsung. Um, we also sell socks, leggings, you name it. Just go to our store and check it out. Thank you for your support and keep watching Katie and me. Hi, welcome to our family. Come and see. It's Katie and me. Today I'm going to take you along on uh, my little job here, working as a chauffeur driver. I'm at the undisclosed uh, secret location, so I'll take you a quick tour there. Behind me we got some Hummers. My company I drive for, there's three of them. They're pretty sweet, long, a little difficult to drive, but I can handle it. Here's the party bus. And over here, check out the escalator.
freeway here. We got about 12 miles to go, so we got some time. Do a little chit chat and uh, explain the details of the job. Uh, a lot of questions I guess people would like to ask is how's it like driving a big long limo? Well, it's pretty much just like your normal car. Everything inside the interior is just like a car. There's no nothing really different other than the control panel that separates the wall here and some of the lightings in the back. You just have to keep in mind it is a very long vehicle, so you have to treat it like a bus. I do have my uh, CDL license. That's a commercial driver license. It's actually required if you're going to drive something of this size and carry a uh, passenger more than, um, I believe it's 16, 16 and up, you need a commercial license. It's like a bus. And pretty much that's it. You take the test to do that and you pass the exam and you get your commercial license. Uh, my previous experience before limo driving was a bus driver. I did school bus driving in uh, Texas and then I did some uh, charter buses up in Seattle big, big buses like the, the gray lines you see. Greyhounds, I mean. <laughs> gray, gray line. I actually drove up for a company called Starline. So that's where, I, where my mind is on the word line. But yeah, as a driver, we're always focused and attentive. A good driver knows uh, all your surroundings. So be mindful as I drive. As you see, I'm uh, hands-free, and that's pretty much that. These limo, they uh, they drink a lot of fuel. I'm actually driving the Cadillac Escalade. I don't know how much this particular vehicle drinks up, but the Hummers I've drove, uh, I've actually had them filled at the gas pump, and they're about 70 bucks from a quarter to full, so that gives you an idea how much they drink. Um, to rent one of these things, they range from 100 to 200 an hour, mind you, <laughs> and uh, it varies from company to company. So each each limo company in your city or state will vary, of course. Uh, our company has a minimum of uh, three hours of service, and we drive uh, a lot of the teenagers around for their uh, Spanish quinceanera. It's uh, like the sweet 16 thing for the Latinos. And the kids have fun in back. Um, we don't serve alcohol. We only have bottled water because, of course, they're minors. I have also carried adults, and they're allowed to drink in the back. And later on, I'll show you what's behind. All right? So in the meantime... Just keep driving here and check out the view.
now that we arrived at the park and I've let the kids out, the photographer takes over and he'll take them around the park area to take their uh, photographs and it usually takes about an hour. So here's the nicer part of being a limo driver is just to uh, sit back, kick back, chill in the nice uh, cab here in the front seat and uh, do whatever you want and getting paid for it at the same time. Usually I uh, browse my internet, play some online games, or uh, like for example right now, I'm filming. And once they get back, we'll load them back up. Uh, usually the kids will want a drink uh, or a bite to eat. So I'll take them there and then a short ride and back to their destination, final drop off. So that's it. Alright, hope you enjoy the ride. One of the biggest challenges for limo drivers, bus drivers, and truckers are parking. As you can see, I'm in this uh, restaurant parking lot. I did make it through, so just had to be very careful and cautious. But I'm in. What a challenge.